Hiya folks, and welcome to a new set of videos where we're going to be cooking in air fryers, slow cookers, <laughs> multi cookers. Just say the Ninja 15 in And all these recipes are gonna be helping you out if you wanna lose weight or if you've got type two diabetes, these are the recipes for you because they're very, very low carb. What are we make today, baby? Beef stroganoff with cauliflower mash. Cauliflower mash. Right, let's get going, folks. Right, before we go any further, let's have a look at the ingredients in this. Here are the ingredients to our beef stroganoff with cauliflower mash. 1.1 kilograms or 2.4 pounds of diced beef. 250 grams or 8.8 .8 ounces of streaky bacon. 2 onions. 500 grams or 1.1 pounds of mushrooms. 4 cloves of garlic. 2 teaspoons of paprika. 6 tablespoons of tomato puree, 500 milliliters or 17 fluid ounces of beef stock, we used a stock cube, 1 large cauliflower. Right, so today folks, we're going to be doing this in the Ninja 15 in 1, and what are you going to do, how are you going to cook it? Pressure cook, this is the first time I've ever done anything really pressure cooked. Right, so we're going to be pressure cooking it, but obviously you can do exactly the same thing if you've got a slow cooker, just leave it in there for 3 to 4 hours and uh, it'll come out exactly the same. This thing should do it a whole lot quicker. So 30 this, minutes, hopefully. This is a 30 minute job. So we're gonna be putting this to the test today. So right, what's the first steps then, baby? Smack your one the face. So right, what's the first thing we're, we're gonna do with this? We're gonna saute, because we're gonna sear the onions, bacon, and garlic. Right, and saute, and so basically you turn it on from there, you turn your dial, you've got a few selections down there, you've got sear and saute, what steam, else you got? Slow, steam cook slow cook. Oh look, yogurt. I didn't know yogurt, that. Yogurt, whatever that is. That's Not that we eat yogurt. yogurt. So we're putting it on the sear, sear and saute. Yeah. And it says high level five at the moment, yeah, doesn't I've it? I've got it on high. To right. So we're just whacking all that in. Which is this? Just. Not to go brown, just to cook a little bit off. Yeah. So treat it like a frying pan, basically. Yeah. In goes the garlic first. So yeah, the paprika stays on the plate for now. So you're just going to mix that about. Get it. Yeah. Get it going and uh, we'll come back to you. So folks, we're standing here and nothing's happening about five minutes later. So I said to her, is it getting hot? She says, no. I put my hand in like an idiot. You put her hand in there. Do um, what did you forget to do? Uh, press the on start. button, folks. Press the start. So to start cooking, you've got to press the on button. And, the, that. and, the, and then you can sear it away. You're looking for your counter basically to go up. That means you know you, you're, you're switched on and cooking. We'll try again, folks. See you in a minute. So there we go, folks. Three and a half minutes into cooking. That sauteed down lovely there now. It didn't take long at all, baby, once you switched it on, did it? Tell you what, it smells lovely. It does, doesn't it? We're going right. to add the paprika now. Right, OK. So whack that in. There you go. And then we're going to also add uh, uh, beef. Right, in goes the, the, the cubed beef, folks. Oh, look at that. So if you're going to give that a good old mix round, folks, we'll get a bit of colour onto that meat first, and then we'll finally add the uh, last three ingredients, which basically is the mushrooms, tomato puree, and the little piece of stock there we got. Right, as you can see, we've basically got a coating of everything all around the beef, folks. So just going to whack in that tomato puree now. Again, just getting it stirred all the way through. Don't forget, this is still on the saute or sear setting at the moment, folks. We're going to add the mushrooms and stir them in. There we go. Loads of mushrooms in there, folks. They're cut nice and chunky as well. So again, give it a good stir up, give it a good mix up. So apart from the preparation, so far, all we've taken is nearly six minutes to get this far in the cooking process. And once we've done all this, bringing it all together. I think it's brought together now. I'm going to add the stock. Yep, once it's brought together, It'll be lid down and then we'll pressurise it. You need the liquid in there, folks, for the pressure cooking, apparently. So there we go. Just give it a little stir. Yeah, just get it going. Get it going, baby. You happy with that? I'm happy. Right, so lid's shut down. What are we doing now, baby? Stop that. Right. And I'm sure we have to go along there for pressure. Right. There we go. So that comes up here, folks. When you slide that along. So I've got to decide. So you have a natural release, or a delayed release, re release, or quick release. Just a natural release, I think, baby. Yeah, because we're in no rush for it, to be honest. Yeah, but that just means it... It comes away slower. Oh, I've got to shut me vent. Right, so that's up I'm here. Close that, that's now on seal. Right. 
And then we're going to up this. That's in minutes. 30 minutes. Isn't so we're going to take that up to 30 minutes, folks. This will blow my brain if it does this. Yeah, we, this is a brand new thing but for us, know folks. What? I'm now going to Don't forget the start button. Start. Right, so now it's, it's now in pre, so it's going to build the pressure up now, folks. Everything's set. Uh, all we basically got to do now is leave it. It's not started the cooking yet. So, yeah, you just got to make sure that that lever is in that position. It says on there, shall it? Yeah. It says vent and, and seal. seal. So that should do its own thing and now. When it releases, it does it all itself. You don't have to worry about yeah. it. Yeah. That's it's this model. On natural one. release. So what we're going to do now, we've got the cauliflower already chopped up. That's going to make our cauliflower mash. So all we'll be doing with this mash is putting probably, you can put some butter in there maybe. Or cream. Or you can put a drop of cream in there. You can put some salt and pepper in there to season it up. And once you've mashed it, you could even put uh, grated cheese in there, which I think you're doing. I'll put a bit of parmesan in there today to get I won't be flavor. having that, folks, because yeah. I'm dairy-free. As I said to you before, my meal is slightly different than Sharon's because I'm dairy-free. The reason why I'm going dairy-free is because dairy creates inflammation within the body, and I want to reduce the inflammation within my body. So I'm staying off of the dairy, so she'll be doing that. Right, so we'll boil that up. Yeah, we'll get a lid. Mash it, put a lid on it. Wait for that to come back. I can't wait to see this to see if that meat is going to be tender. Minutes. That little flashing cursor you can see is right at the end now, and it's still saying pre, so it must be building up pressure still. We hope that when it finishes the end, then it will start cooking. So um, it's been about 10 minutes so far. Yep, there we go, folks. It's literally just finished flashing that last one. It made a bleeping noise, and it's now started counting down. So it's actually pressure cooking now for our 30 minutes. There you go. All right, folks, okay, it said open, so you've got to slide the thing over, shall There we go, then we can lift it open. Let's have a little look in there. That's nice. Oh, look at that. Is it thickened up all right? Well, I'd like it a bit thicker. Right, well, we can add some gravy granules to that, I suppose, can't you? Let's taste a bit of that meat, go on. Go on then. Go on, go on, you go. Is it tender? Oh, very. Hey? <laughs> Very, very tender, Mark. Is it tender? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't forget, folks, this has only been cooking for 30 seconds. 30, yeah, 30. 30 minutes. Well, I can see that's tender already, folks. Look. Can you see that? Look. Look at this. They fell apart, folks. Oh, my God. Sharon. Oh, no. You would think that had been on for hours and hours. I can't believe that. I can't believe it, actually, to be honest with you. That is a surprise, folks. I won't say it, but we was actually a little bit sceptical, folks, that that meat would be tender enough. But as you can see, we want a bit of a thicker liquor. So we can do that now just by putting some... Um... Arrowroot. Oh, Sharon's just going to use some arrowroot. Because that's all right on your keto. And we're also babysitting baby Frank, people. Look, that's <laughs> your baby Frank. <laughs> you say hello, say hello. You're going to wave to someone? No, Merlin's there. Look, he's always looking for food, Merlin, look. So right, this you reckon is going to thicken it up, yeah? Little drop of arrowroot, folks. In the um, I can't believe that, Sharon. I can't. That that's it's cooked done. like that in thirty minutes. So the cauliflower is already done, folks. So we're just going to get that drained and mashed in a second. And uh, Sharon's just giving it a little bit of a mash up. Little Frank's got some dished up on his plate, and as you can see now, that's thickened up nicely. Now look, that's a lovely little sauce there with that, folks. Absolutely love it. I can't no, believe just that. Just arrowroot with cold water and then pour it in. It's got, that's got to be hot when you add yeah. your arrowroot, otherwise arrowroot Yeah, well that is hot, isn't it? That's really roasting that. So just mashing up the uh, cauliflower, folks. We'll get Martin's on a plate now and then we can add our cheese to ours. Yep. As I say, you can add a bit of butter to that if you want. Or cream. Bit of cream. Or just leave it as it is. I'm just going to have it plain because I'm happy with it. Just put salt and pepper on it. So a little bit for meat. Yeah, put it in there, you mix it all together anyway, won't he? So she's got some grated uh, parmesan cheese there, Sharon. Yeah, just to use it up, really. Yeah. It just adds a bit more flavour and it's absolutely fine on the keto diet, folks. Cheese is fat I'm moaning about and protein. About spoon. I'll be upsetting people. Cheese is protein and fat and that won't raise your blood sugar levels at all compared to having normal mash. Right, folks, here we go. Cooks in 30 minutes, this is. Tell me what you think, baby. You've got a bit of mash on there. Well? Very nice. Very nice. Don't forget, folks, this ain't going to be raising your blood sugar and putting pounds on your hips. 
I'm going full metal jacket. I'm going in with everything, folks. Mushrooms a lot. Very, very nice, folks. That is a winter warmer, folks. Oh. And what a marvellous tool that is. Very low carb, this, folks. Absolutely fantastic. And you can eat as much as this as you want until you're full. So there's no portion control here. We're basically doing one or two meals a day. No need for breakfast. You have your meal about one o'clock in the afternoon. We ain't been doing that because we're used to having one meal a day. We've just been having our evening meal, which is this is. Don't forget to check out my other playlist, which I'll leave just below here, of all the meals that you can have that are low carb. I'm on the dairy free because as I said to you, I want to uh, get rid of inflammation and all that sort of stuff as well. But this is a very, very tasty meal. I'm sure you're going to enjoy as well. And again, nice and simple to do. If you haven't got the Ninja, do it in the slow cooker or even do it in your air fryer, but just have it on the low setting, put it on the bake setting or something like that, and just cook it low for quite a long period of time. Anyway, oh, baby Frank. Baby Frank wants his dinner. But of course he does. So do I, baby. Anyway, thanks very much, folks. Hope you've enjoyed this one. Do check out our other videos, and don't forget our weekend vlog when you'll find out what we've been getting up to during the week. Oh, yes. Thanks very much. See you in the next video, and until then, bye, bye for now. Come on, baby, bye. we're hungry. Baby Frank can sort himself out. Baby Frank, you sort yourself out. No, do yeah. you? Yeah. <laughs>